The arrest of Samsung chief Lee Jae-yong is being met with mixed reactions in South Korea. Although many hoped it would bring an era of good corporate governance, others are worried troubles at Samsung could weigh on the wider economy. Samsung Group is as big as the next 30 companies combined, so Samsung is absolutely in South Korea. Their norms, their decisions, and their market rules become South Korea's rules. So Samsung changes the South Korean economy. That's how absolute their influence is. South Korea has relied on the family-owned conglomerate businesses to boost the economy. But the dominance of such big businesses has led to concerns over transparency and accountability. Many in South Korea are worried that this will negatively impact the economy. But South Korean businesses and the economy want to make a leap to the next level. They should use this scandal to make the business structure more transparent. The probe into Lee Jae-yong is part of a larger investigation into President Park Geun-hye, who is awaiting a verdict on her impeachment by the Constitutional Court. After a previous failed attempt, special prosecutors were able to get a warrant to arrest Samsung's Lee Jae-yong on new charges and evidence. Prosecutors are hopeful this will turn the tables and help build an even stronger case against Park Geun-hye. Anger over the perceived ongoing corruption has erupted in South Korea in recent months. Large crowds have taken to the streets, demanding Park's impeachment and the arrests of the heads of big businesses. But South Korea's history for pardoning white-collar crimes over fears that it could impact the economy could mean Lee may never face real punishment. Joseph Kim for CGTN, Seoul.